How you doing, people? Today, we're taking a quick look at Fly Me to the Moon, directed by Greg Berlanti and starring Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson. This movie takes place during the space race of the 1960s. Johansson plays Kelly Jones, who once upon a time was a con artist, but now works in advertising. Which is... not much of a stretch, really. She ends up getting hired by NASA to reshape their public image, as the public is not as high on the space program as they used to be. She ends up working with the launch director for the Apollo 11 mission, Cole Davis, played by Tatum, as well as the somewhat annoying government operative, Mo Burkus, played by Woody Harrelson. Over time, Jones' duties involve a bit more than just advertising, as the Apollo 11 mission is deemed too critical to fail, and she is tasked with creating a fake version of the moon landing, just in case something goes wrong with the real one. I wasn't really sure what to expect from a movie based on a popular and, quite frankly, ridiculous conspiracy theory. We landed on the moon, get over it. But I ended up liking this one quite a bit, and I was surprised that they initially considered releasing this direct to streaming. This definitely deserves to be in theaters. And I did find this to be an interesting take on the moon landing conspiracy theories, where the fake moon landing was just the backup plan. Compared to most moon landing theories I've heard, this at least sounds plausible. And the filming of this fake moon landing is only a small part of the story. It's not even why Kelly was hired by NASA in the first place. She's initially brought in to do PR for NASA to improve their image with the general public and with several senators who are not so sure that the Apollo space program is worth spending any more money on. And the whole time she's doing the PR, she is basically still a con artist. She adopts several different personas and backstories based on what she thinks the people she's talking to at any given moment want to hear. Johansson is basically an actor playing an actor and has to play several different characters in this movie, and she does them all very well. She is very funny in this. And she and Tatum have very good chemistry. They are perfect foils for each other. Kelly will lie her ass off about whatever it is she is trying to sell and has no qualms about that. Cole, on the other hand, is very much the opposite. Very serious and straight-laced and has no time for Kelly's shit, at least at first. I have not always been very high on Tatum's acting, but he actually surprised me here. I really liked him in this movie. I love how he's just endlessly frustrated with everything that Kelly puts him through, but he has to put up with it because... This is his job now. There's one really good scene in particular where he's having dinner with one of the Senate holds out and is trying to convince him to provide more funding for the space program. And he has a very good monologue in that scene that he just nails. Woody was great as the government agent overseeing the fake moon landing. And this is just one of those characters that you love to hate. He's such a smug prick. And he seemed to be having a lot of fun playing the smug prick. I also really like Jim Rash, who plays a very flamboyant and self-absorbed film director who is brought in to direct the fake moon landing. Very funny guy. And this is somehow the second straight movie I have seen involving a cat. And I will say I liked this cat much better than the cat in A Quiet Place Day 1. It's a stray cat that keeps running around the Cape Canaveral facility, bugging the shit out of everyone, and every attempt to catch it fails. And of course, it ends up getting in everyone's way on the fake moon landing set. I very much enjoyed that cat. I don't have a lot of complaints about this movie. I guess if you really want me to nitpick, there is a gag early on involving a gas explosion that I thought was maybe a little too cartoony. Which would be fine if the rest of the movie was like that, but it's really not, and that joke kind of felt out of place. But that's pretty much it. It's got a good story, it's well acted, it's funny. I liked it. And when it hits theaters this upcoming weekend, I recommend checking it out. And that's all I got to say about Fly Me to the Moon. Till next time, take care.